I'm Charlotte Boise and welcome to The Proper Poor. This story goes right back to 1922 when Rudolf Valentino directed a movie called Blood and Sand. He asked the bartender to create a cocktail for the premiere of the movie and the Blood and Sand cocktail was born. Equal parts scotch, cherry herring, sweet vermouth and orange juice. My cocktail is a take on that with a few additions. I'm going to start off with the cherries, muddled cherries. These can be branded or moresca cherries in syrup. About four or five will do, give them a soft muddle. Next we're going to add in our alcoholic ingredients. I've got Salerno Blood Orange Liqueur, which gives this cocktail just a beautiful depth and bittersweet flavor. Next up is the scotch. Um, instead of a blended scotch, which they would have used back in the day, I'm going to treat you all by using a single malt, the Glenfiddich 12. This is a lovely fruit forward note and works perfectly with the cherries. Three quarter ounce. And then instead of a sweet vermouth, we're just going sideways a touch with Lillet Rouge, a fortified wine from Bordeaux, has a nice sort of dry berry characteristic. Again, a three quarter ounce. Just to cut the sweetness of the cherries, we need a little citrus. So we're gonna add half a lemon, so about a half ounce of fresh lemon juice. And then just gonna tweak it with a little touch of pink grapefruit. So this probably equates to about a quarter of an ounce of freshly squeezed pink grapefruit juice. A little dash of egg white just for texture and silky mouthfeel. And finally, two dashes of orange bitters. This is one of my very favorite cocktails. I'm gonna give it a nice shake. So truly a combination that has stood the test of time. Just about everybody's favorite scotch cocktail. And we've got that beautiful color from the cherries. Did I mention this was one of my favorites? There we go. And we'll do a little citrus garnish on here just to keep it bright and aromatic. I've got an orange peel. Let's give it a nice snap. Those oils dance on the top of the cocktail. And there you have what I'm going to call the Blood and Sanguinello, a blood orange take on that classic from 1922.